Yo, what is going on guys? This is Failing YouTuber Marvin, and I have for you guys today another YouTube gameplay. The gameplay you guys are going to be watching in the background today is a 52-2 TDM on the map Stronghold using the VMP in Black Ops 3. I think the like goal on this video is going to be 52 likes since I got 52 kills in the gameplay, so I actually want to bring you guys a question. What Call of Duty do you guys prefer to see from me? Do you guys prefer to see Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3? Those are the two games I normally post, generally just Black Ops 2. Would you guys like to see some different Call of Duties? You know, just leave me a comment down below which game you'd like to see from me and I can try to go for some gameplays on there and if you guys see a COD that you'd already like to see just go ahead and thumbs up that comment you know so everybody just go ahead comment that right now you know I'm gonna wait for you we're just gonna chill here and awkwardly sit here as you go and comment that okay you done? Alright, that's good. Okay, so before this video starts off here, I just wanted to quickly mention a giveaway my friend is doing. He's giving away either Battlefield 1, Infinite Warfare, or Titanfall 2. On any console, you can pretty much choose the game if you win. The link will be down in the description below if you guys are interested in the giveaway. Anyway, today's video is going to be Fake YouTubers number 3. I'll go ahead and link the last episode of Fake YouTubers down in the description if you guys are interested in watching that. It was pretty much a full-on exposed video I made. It was actually a really good video, so if you guys are interested, feel free. Today's video is going to be the Big Pranksters edition of fake youtubers i think you guys really seem to like this series so hopefully if this video does well i'll be able to do another one so this video is pretty much going to be talking about all fake pranksters out there that have made pranks that are fake, obviously. But, you know, just to name a few big ones, FoosyTube, Vitaly, ZDTV, or however you pronounce his name. I'll just go ahead and link a couple videos that the prank reviewer made down in the description below of how he exposed them. So this isn't going to be another one of those exposed videos that you see from all these people copying the other person that already made the exposed video just to get views because they put a big YouTuber's name in there and put exposed, you know. This isn't going to be one of those videos. I'm just going to talk about why I think it's really stupid how people fake pranks. So first of all, I just want to say I think it's really stupid if you make pranks, yet you don't have the ability to piss someone off. Making someone mad really isn't a hard thing to do. Whether it's online, in real life, it doesn't really matter. It's not something challenging to do. Some people will literally get mad at you, even though you do everything right, you know, say in your job or something, and they just get mad at you. Let me give an actual real life example here. So, if you guys don't already know, I work at Five Guys. Generally speaking, I'm usually either making the fries or grilling the burgers. Those are some of the things I'm really good at there. And I don't really practice in some of the other things, so I just don't normally do that. But occasionally we do this thing called cross training. So pretty much I'll be doing something different, like dressing the burger, you know, putting all the toppings on there. Or, you know, I'll be at the cash register taking orders for people. So we normally do this on a slow day when there's not a lot of customers. So you don't have a line of like 10 customers. You're sitting there at the cash register not having a damn clue what you're doing. We do it when we're like slow and stuff. So this was a little while ago. I was on the cash register right now I was taking this customer's order so a man and his wife come in and I feel like this guy is like one of those sexist guys who's just like women are supposed to be seen not heard or some shit like that I honestly don't even know but he pretty much told me his wife's order for her like he it's like he didn't want her to talk it was really weird and then anyway he just looked at his wife he's like is not what you want she nodded you know it's like a cheeseburger with all these different toppings on it so I put that in perfectly you know and we're good to go and then I ask him what would you like on your burger sir and then he tells me he wants the exact same thing and if you guys don't know if you've never been to five guys before a regular cheeseburger is two patties and a little cheeseburger is one patty obviously the little cheeseburger is going to be cheaper so anyway you know his wife gets the regular cheeseburger he says he wants the exact same thing so that's what i put down and i tell him his total and he's just like he starts shaking his head at me you know he's just like all upset and he's like well oh, they'll try to get you that's what he says to his wife he's like oh they'll try to get you as if i was like trying to bullshit him into spending more money because that would affect my paycheck like i'm gonna end up making the exact same amount no matter what you buy unless you like like put something on the tip jar which he wasn't so anyway you know he's shaking his head at me the same way my math teacher shook his head at me when he asked me what six plus six and I say my dick size you know just shaking his head he's all mad and so I told him I'm sorry that's what I hate about my job dude I have to tell people that I'm sorry for their mistake it's like the dumbest thing ever but anyway that's just an example people get pissed off really easily anyway let's get back to the fake youtubers thing so, my problem with fake pranks is that they're portrayed as being real. It doesn't say in the description, the beginning, or end of the video that it's acting. It is literally portrayed as being a real prank, which is why it gets a lot of views, because skits are like, you know, they'll be kind of funny or something, but they don't really get as many views, generally speaking, anyway. Now, I'm just going to say right now, if they portrayed it as being fake and said, you know, this is acting, this is like a skit, I would not have a problem with it. The problem is that it's a fake prank, and that they don't say it's acting, they pretend it's real when it's really not. Another problem with this is it hurts real pranksters. It hurts their reputation for one thing. I know I used to watch pranksters back in the day a good year or so ago, a good while ago, but then I started seeing people making videos saying, you know, this prankster exposed, that prankster exposed. I'm like, damn, I used to watch that guy. And I'm just like, wow, that prank was actually fake. Like, that's so stupid. You know, that's so 
dumb that they make videos like this and get views on it. And you know, after a while, you're just like, wow, you know, this is really stupid. Why even watch pranks if they're all just fake, right? And you never really know if they're fake or not unless they get exposed and you just watch a video and you're like, is this even real? It can really ruin real pranks because you don't even know if they're real or fake is what I'm saying. So I'm actually going to give an example of a real prankster actually legitimately getting hurt by this, literally getting shot by one of his haters in real life, came up to his house and shot him, and he didn't end up killing him, but he shot him like in the arm or something like that, and he was in the hospital because of this, and he was really mad at him just because he did a prank called dropping bombs on Muslims, and literally this was just like a play on words, it was him farting right next to him, actually I don't think it was him farting, he had like a cup or something, you know, like uh, the kind of cup you'll get at fast food, and he just was like making a noise that sounded like a farting noise. And anyway, a lot of people are hating on him for this because he's like, oh, you know, you're making fun of Muslims or whatever. Really, it was just like, I guess, kind of a fun prank. Yeah, it was pretty clickbait because he wasn't actually dropping bombs. But, you know, it was him trying to be clever. Whatever. You know, people are getting super mad about him for that. And that's because it was a real prank. Now, if he was just doing one of these harmless fake pranks, he wouldn't actually have gotten shot. You know, he wouldn't have, like, been getting hurt because he's doing a fake prank. And that's just really stupid to see that someone that's actually doing real stuff is getting hurt when the people are doing fake pranks are just growing more and more just from having fake shit. So some people will try to tell you, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's fake to me because, you know, it's funny. It doesn't really matter, right? So I'm going to give an example that relates to me. So let's just say, for example, people tried to fake gameplays. You know, let's just say they got in private match. I'm sure a bigger YouTuber could have a really easy time getting 12 people in a game, you know, just inviting different people that are fans and stuff and say, you know, they tell them, hey, just, you know, play like shit, you know, let me get a lot of kills and I'm going to pretend I'm really good at the game and get a really great gameplay, even though it's just in private match, you know, and maybe not quite sure the full gameplay so they don't see there's no match bonus at the end and stuff like that and you know they get a 6v6 game going on they make it look like it's a real game and they play it out and play particularly well because you know the people on the other team are playing like shit on purpose and there you go you got a fake gameplay now let's say that youtuber let's just say that youtuber's ali a okay i have nothing against ali a just for an example because he's a big youtuber let's say he got exposed for that let's say some other youtubers that are just big got exposed for that right now my gameplays look like shit because people think that there's some sort of fake gameplay even though i do nothing but real gameplays are you guys starting to see what i'm saying here they're basically ruining the reputation for all pranksters because they do fake pranks like literally when they upload a new video it's just a meme because people are like like, yeah, this is fake. <laughs> like, people already know. Oh my god, make it shut up! Well, there's a little preview of the next Rage Taj, I suppose. Stupid dog won't shut up. So it ends up ruining the reputation of other pranksters that do real pranks because people are just thinking automatically that it's a fake prank. So that's all I really had to say about the topic, you know, I just think it's really stupid that people can get big on YouTube just for making fake stuff and, you know, having actors do it for them when instead of really just putting in a little bit of effort to piss someone off and make a prank. I don't even watch pranks anymore just because I knew people fake pranks and stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much all I had to talk about today. If you guys would like me to make another episode about big YouTubers, I could actually do that. I have some other people that I know I could talk about that aren't actually pranksters above the range of 1 million subscribers. So anyway, if you guys would like to see that, just let me know and also leave a like on this video just to show me that you like this series. Anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say. Subscribe for more if you guys haven't already. I'm sure most of you guys already have. Follow me on social media. Links will all be down in the description below and have a sexy day guys.